I, I got a um, a character that I've been thinking about a lot, mm -hmm. and I, I wanted nice. to see what you guys think about it. It's it's like a it's a spin on a classic character. It's <clears throat> woke Boomhauer. Oh, okay, dang old nice. trans lives matter, but man, black lives matter. Dude. <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying, man. Trans li trans rights are human rights, man. <laughs> Roe Wade, man. Dang, dang, old. dang old. Is this an in-person bit or a stage bit? I don't know. <laughs> I might just do it on stage it. tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's something, man. It's all you gotta yeah. do is just. Yeah. Are you gonna introduce it like yeah. that? I th how else do you introduce that? <laughs> just go up there and start muttering about <laughs> trans lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> dang old yeah. trans lives matter. No, just dang, dang old trans lives matter <laughs> yeah. is the best. Yeah. <laughs> dang old. Matter, you should man. tweet Daniel. that Boomhauer voice, dang old trans lives <laughs> matter, man. <laughs> Woke Boomhauer, dude. Woke Boom Honestly, Hauer. Grant, yeah. tweet that right now. Tweet Boomhauer voice, but okay. yeah, dang just, just Boomhauer voice. Boomhauer voice, and then dang old trans trans lives matter. Yeah, <laughs> dang old trans lives matter, yeah. man. <laughs> And then send that to the group No, actually, chat. Hold, hold this. Let's think of something. If we want to put woke in the character's name, That's what I was it's got to be more woke. It's got to be more woke. So, like, saying Dingo Trans Lives Matter, that's in the character. Yeah. That's great. But you if know? he's... No, no, no. But I, I'm saying for the tweet... What's the wokest thing you can think of? For the of? tweet, he doesn't need woke Boomhauer voice. Just just Boomhauer no, no. voice. Dang old trans, li trans lives matter. <laughs> that's 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 the tweet, baby. That's it. That's the that's tweet. That's the tweet. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll fire it off. He here. go viral. I'll retweet it. Um, he go viral. Baby, it's gay outside. Baby, I'm gay <laughs> outside. I really can't stay. Baby, I'm gay. <laughs> yep. Can one of you guys uh, yep. intro the pod while hey, I'm drafting motherfuckers. Hey, well, motherfuckers. No, I'm introing the pod. Let me do it. Okay. Nah, do you want to okay. do it? Uh, no, no, you Okay, got I got it. Uh, hey, everybody, welcome to the... Hey, buddy. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, dude. Hey, hey everybody, hey, everybody hey. welcome to the Week Cool hey, Podcast. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Week Cool Podcast. <laughs> I'm going to say it a second after you and louder. <laughs> Hey everybody! Welcome to the Week Cool Podcast. Uh, I'm your oh, I'm your host Ryan Call. Uh, uh, I'm your host Tommy. Joining me are my guests Ryan Call. Well, we're all Grant hosts. Nichols. None of us are guests. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on the podcast. This is my house. Gentlemen. We're we're recording no, in my it's, house. First off, it's your apartment, babe. <laughs> How dare first you? First off, Queen. How dare you? First off, first off, Queen. Let's get one thing straight. Is that it? Um, just do it like this here. All right, Tommy, take over. Take, take, take right, over. I'm not tapping back in. You're listening to the you're listening to the podcast, uh, the only podcast, a podcast where we uh, apologize for things, demand apologies. Grant, let me see that draft. See, I had the brackets. Oh shit! I'm a big I fan of the asterisk. To, um, oh, there it goes. Okay, so we got. See what my original one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All fire, right. Fire yeah. that thing off and send it to the damn chat. Oh god damn. Fire God, I hope fire I go fire off. Home. <laughs> send it to the <laughs> chat. <laughs> that's uh how about a tweet that's like this? Me every time I tweet. <laughs> I hope I go fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think your voice is it, that joke is very dependent on uh, your so voice. So that's a stage joke. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> that tweet's okay. a stage joke. So you you go on stage, you go, What about this? <laughs> <Every> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Uh, hey guys, welcome to the We Cool Podcast. Just wanted to, you know, wanted to start with a little goof. A little, little. No, I like that a lot. I have an idea that I kind of want to run by you guys. Uh, what um, is it? <laughs> 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 so you know, you know how like you know how like every like uh, comedian like Instagram uh, stand up clip like the um, clickbait. The first uh, subtitle captions are uh like something very clickbaity it has know? to be it sucks and, when you're and, making them because you're like i know, I know what i'm doing because it's 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 always like it like if you look at all because i was on andrew schultz instagram page <laughs> and i guess andrew Sh andrew schultz like started this but now it's a thing that like everybody is doing and that you have to do so that you're like the algorithm like picks up on your video so i'm not really like knocking anybody but it is annoying and stupid you know like i understand that you have to do it because you want to get views on your videos and i do it to an extent but um like i like i hashtag ukraine on videos that d just because i'm like i'm gonna see if i can get a little ukraine you know, a little, little bit ukraine of that, buzz of on, on my little yeah a little that ukraine juice on this uh english accent yeah. guitar <laughs> bit i'm doing but I want to like caption a stand up bit, like just like a bit about like going to the bank or whatever, where it's just like trans 
trans black in a wheelchair is Republican question mark. And, <laughs> and then, then it's a like, picture of that's, you. <laughs> yeah. And then it's a picture of me like this. And then I do the bit about like going to the bank or whatever. And the you know bank you need not to having do? any coins. You know, you need like, to do a, a super, what's up. Um, take a picture of yourself in a wheelchair. And then that's the picture where it says trans black man is a Republican question mark. Just like, just like these big, like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but these like mm-hmm. get you, what, what would be the word I'm looking for? It's like, like these, well, clickbait's the word. Yeah. Right? Clickbait. Yeah. I guess click. Yeah. These very clickbaity uh, triggering wor- where it's just like, it just like hacks the algorithm. Yeah. And then I want to have the video be like a really short clip and then like end the video where I'm just like doing like a selfie video and I'm like bleeding from my ears and I'm like, hey guys, uh, you know, nothing really happened in the subtitles of that uh, stand up clip, but I hope you enjoyed it. I was just doing this to maybe rack up some extra views and then it like cuts. I'm just like bleeding even more like from my <laughs> eyes and I'm like, anyways, man, just like and subscribe. I love stand up comedy. Mm-hmm. I love being so just like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking about starting it like that and then ending with like some weird. Um, like j- just kidding, but I'm still kind of like insane are, or are something you gonna, like that. What do you What do you guys? Th- are you gonna? Is that anything? Put an actual clip in there, or is it gonna be like a fake, stupid clip? No, I'm gonna put an actual <laughs> clip in there. I my instincts. Here's what my instincts are telling me. And I'm just I've just been thinking about this idea. So it's, it's, there's a different way. I would I say go about leave this out or, the end stuff. All you need is just that clickbait. Clickbait title page, right? Mm-hmm. Or like that's that's the image that comes up. And then the rest yeah. is just you doing a bit about the bank. J- you don't need just doing a bit about. I don't the think bank. you need you need the ending. Do you know what the weird thing about those like the the thank you um what do they call it? Uh, thank you for your insight, Ryan. I'm so submissive. The thumbnail, insight. the thumbnail or whatever, right? The the thumb. I think thumbnails. Yes, that was what thumbnail. I was looking for. That so, was the word. Yeah. <clears throat> Like, do people even see those? Because like, Dude, most I'll of the time you the videos autoplay, so it's like you're not. I'll you, tell you, you this. Only see those if you when they when they if they're on yeah, your profile. Yeah, when you go to the, your page, when you go to your profile. Yeah, it is know? it is a thumbnail. But I'll tell you this: I have such a low viewer count that my they've started calling mine a pinky nail. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I got another one good, for you. Pretty good. Hey, I got Tommy, another, hey, I, like, I like the idea. I thought it, you could almost do like. I think you could go e- either way. You could do like a fake, really stupid clip or just a really short clip of a joke bombing and then do yeah. the ending like sketch part or just do it yeah. like Ryan said. Uh, I would I would honestly just use it as actual clickbait. And, and see then if it, it you're works. Because you're still kind of being like tongue in cheek about it. Yeah. I mean, no one is, no one's going to look at that and be, I mean, people will get mad. Well, it's if, gotten to the, it's just gotten to the point that like, it's every comedian is flooding Instagram with stand-up clips, yep. and I don't blame them. It's it's a way to uh, hack the system and kind of get views very quickly and stuff like that. But it's just gotten so much. It's just Instagram clips that are like they're all right. Yeah. Like I see them and I'm like, I get why you posted it, but it's just like, oh, now now I think the next step is like we have to make fun of this mm-hmm. that we're like constantly forced to do this it is it is it is a genius way though to have as like an outsider build a fan base because the traditional route it's the only way to do it yeah the traditional route has always been you know you get a comedy central or something but we we do have to i think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the og of the uh the comedian clips we we, big steve big man hofstetter Mm -hmm. (laughs) shout out to (laughs) I think you're gonna say real one. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say Jeff Asmus. <laughs> no, nah, no, dude, no, Steve, no, no. motherfucking no, Hofstadter, Steve. dude. The um, original, yeah, he, he owned the first heckler and changed the fucking world, dude. He really did pioneer the game. <laughs> Real quick, I've been thinking about this lately. Steve, um, dude, everybody hates that guy so fucking much. It's, it's what are you amazing. talking about? Dude, if we could get him, about? if that we could rules. get him on the podcast, if we could give him get him on the podcast and just be like. Steve, we love you so much. It would, dude, he would probably, fucking, it would cost probably, us ten thousand yeah, dollars. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> he would charge us money, yeah. and then he would own the podcast. Yeah, he would like there would be <laughs> stipulations. This guy, <laughs> like he he's he's run like a dozen different scams on comedians over the past like twenty mm-hmm. years. It's 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 amazing. And I'm really. just waiting here no, in it, line, it, like, hey, when's my chance? <laughs> you know, when are you gonna yeah, give me a me chance in on to the get scam, scammed, Steve? <laughs> Real quick, can I say um, this? Yeah, I've been thinking about this a lot. Hey, uh, I'm so I'm so submissive. I don't even I don't masturbate. I servant bait. Okay. Yep. 
True, true, true bottom. True bottom. True. Next time on True Bottom, <laughs> <laughs> it's like True Blood, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's you, but you're you're uh, you're like shadowed out, mm-hmm. and you're like talking a little yeah. bit with a voice, and you're like, oh, but I mean, I don't even masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ball gag in my mouth, so you can't even understand <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, we want to be clear in this interview. We did not lower his voice. He, <laughs> he did to take, yeah. take the ball gag out of his yeah. mouth. Um, no, yeah, they're it, it really to, is all about... They're trying to mic the ball gag. <laughs> they're, like, they're, they're not sure where to mic. <laughs> they're like, should we mic the corner of his mouth, or do we mic directly in front of the ball gag? I, I don't know. And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> You fuck, you fuck the <laughs> <He's like, laughs> <laughs> It's moving all around. Um, baby, I'm gay. Yeah, so. it is all. What I was gonna say that it is all about like scamming. Comedians are a great group to scam. Like every comedian, every open micer right now is waiting in line at the comic strip um, in Manhattan, which is like has been a pretty dead club for a while, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but they posted this thing where it's like, hey, we're doing. If you wait in line and sign up, you get an audition for the club. So, so I know I'm in this group chat of comedians, and they're signing up. They're like, "Yeah, man, my my audition's next March," <laughs> and I'm like, "Cool." Nice. You waited in line for three hours for. <laughs> yeah, man, I love doing comedy in New York, man. I just said I waited th- uh, in line three hours at the comic strip yeah. just to put my name on a piece of paper, the- so I could do two minutes in front of. Uh, um, like it, like some guy named like Old Charlie J- Jack Jackbone mm-hmm. or whatever, who's um a straight up rapist, you know, <laughs> like the guy he straight up has so many cases, <laughs> you know. Um, he's not even allowed to physically and, be in the club. He he has to right, exactly. watch from a yeah. video. He's gonna it's get his club and to he's him like in prison. He's like yeah, someone yeah, is on the phone with his- him and they're repeating <laughs> your jokes to him and they're like yeah. So then mm-hmm. he's I think he's like he's. He, the guy said two dudes. I wasn't really listening. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's um. So again, like they're all the all these comedians are in this group chat talking about this, and I'm like, I have, this is, we are so easily scammable. Mm-hmm. Like it's so, it's it's great. And, and then you know? it's they, like you know it's happening to you, and you do it anyway. All you did, all you did at that club, it's such a good business move because you just got three thousand names to sign up and. Those are three thousand beers guaranteed being bought. Yeah, minimum. You know? Like they're, they're just like, like, look at this. They force you to buy, a, <laughs> buy a fucking beer, dude. They're like, they're like, look at this. Look how many beers that we're, we're gonna have to sell in the future. This is awesome. Dude, we just guaranteed. They should come we out. Just guaranteed our place customers. They should come out with a credit card for comedians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be the ultimate scam. It's just the new Capital One comedian rewards points card. Well, there there should be like Sky Miles. There should be like Mike Miles, where oh, you buy nice. enough beers at like an open mic. You're just like, yeah, dude, I just hit like whatever my my what was it like a premium or something? I don't yeah, know. I, <laughs> nobody <laughs> fucking knows. <laughs> dude, it nobody does knows. suck. Nobody. Have you ever talked to one of those guys who knows and you're like, damn, dude, fucking, I <laughs> what told the you about fuck? this shit. Do you work for them? How do you know this? And you're like, no, yeah, I just they, I just read the fine print before I sign up for a credit card. Nobody does that. It's like yeah. that's insane. D- when I was getting my temporarily health insurance, um, temporarily, <laughs> my temporary, which it's not a temporary health insurance, it's a temporarily health insurance. Yeah. But um, <laughs> like just all the all the language that was like being used was like so confusing. Mm-hmm. They do that on purpose, dude. Yeah. Also, the websites are purposely archaic so that it's difficult to. Yeah. Archaic? Did I use that yeah. right? Yeah, that's perfect, man. Okay. Archaic, okay. For some yeah. reason, when people say archaic, I think of magic, arcane. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Mm, yeah, cane. Canes. Mm. <laughs> it's canes. Chicken. Raising canes. So Raising good. canes a little overrated. A lot of people say that, yeah. Not always worth the wait. Chicken's okay. Sauce I, is better than the chicken. The sauce is the best part. <clears throat> yep. We all know this. I agree. The toast is good, this. too, though. Little, toast is ooh, good. I love I a can't... soggy toast. Give me, soggy toast. Give me that toast that was swimming Give in butter. Give me soggy toast. I can get behind that. Dude, I got some fucking tooties loading. Dude, I don't know What's why, going? but I've been like eating a lot of hot dogs, and it's just really it's bumming me out, man. I almost <laughs> ate at Uncle Frankie's the other day. You don't like that place; it's right next door. Well, right? Yeah, I, I ate there yeah, that one. Place makes you mad. I ate there one time four years ago, and it was a bad experience. It just it was like underwhelming, and, and it, because it seems like one of those places where it's like, oh, dude, that's got to be so fucking good. It's like a little hole in the wall. It's it's got good location. It's like it's been there forever. You're mm-hmm. like, that's got to be like a staple of Northeast. And then you walk in there, and it's like. 
yo, it's just a hot dog. It's just a regular mm-hmm. old hot dog. You didn't do nothing mm-hmm. to it. How have you been here this what? long? Why <laughs> Why so many hot dogs, Grant? What's going on? I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I, like, so we had a... Because uh, hot dogs, it's a food that you, like, uh, happen upon. <laughs> I know. And it's really... Okay. You know, so, it's, it's kind of like it's 4th of July. You're at a, you're at a no, baseball there, game. There, yeah, there, yeah, is yeah, a there is a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like buy <laughs> no, hot dogs well, at the Grant, grocery store. Here's Grant's reason like he Wednesday, bought 400 you know? hot dogs. I did, I did, dude. Because uh, Kelly, we had a graduation slash birthday barbecue for Kelly, and I was like, you know what? I'm just making a fuck ton of hot dogs. That's I'm not complicating anything. We're just doing glizzy. No brats? No brats, dude. <laughs> just dogs. And uh, I got three different kinds and only made it through like half of them. So now my fridge is just like full of hot dogs. Those stink Cooked? too. Those stink up the fridge. Yeah. Well, I, I froze like half of them, but then I've been slowly unfreezing them. And and like, dude. you're treating them like it's like how, how people do like a nice like venison. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like you got to keep it's it. It's like I in. bought a half a <laughs> cow, but it's really right. just like, dude, I'm picturing 50 hot dogs. I'm picturing Grant's process. It's like the same way that they created dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. That's the amount of care. <laughs> That he's taking with these hot dogs. It's like I have to have I have a timetable where Drilling these four yeah. the <laughs> these four sit yeah. on the windowsill for fourteen minutes apiece. Yeah. Then I move them which, to the which, microwave. Yeah. Which is how they created the dinosaurs, is they just left a hot dog in the fridge <laughs> and they're in like a petri dish and they're, they're like, like, Yeah, it's just fucking like, whoa, was that a fucking pterodactyl? A, a pterodactyl <laughs> came out of it. You know? um, yeah, yeah. I had a, a hot dog right before coming here. Man. Nice. <laughs> what do you? What, what's your go-to? You ketchup? You bun? Uh, what do you do? Typically, I'm just going. Are you a fork and knife guy? No. God, no, man. Does that make you mad when you see somebody cutting up a hot dog? I don't know if I've ever seen. I've that. never. I've never. Seen My mom that. does it. Mom, I know you don't eat bread, but you got to stop eating them like that. It's disgusting. Oh, I thought you well, meant. Uh, well, yeah, it makes yeah. more sense that way. But I thought you it's meant weird. cutting it's the bun and the, oh, God, the dog no. God, no. <laughs> with a fork oh. and knife. The, it's too big. The bites are too big. You know what big. I'd be doing if I were you, Grant? What? I'd be slicing up those dogs and making a little uh, uh, like a veggie hot dog scramble. Okay. You know, you know like, what else you could do? That. Maybe I'll start mixing that get up. A little Fucking... onion, get a little onions on the pan. Get a little pe- peppers on yeah. the pan. You throw in the hot dogs in there. Hit it with a little salt, pepper, maybe a little sriracha sauce. Okay. Okay, that sounds really good. Here's eggs. my idea. Beans. Get yeah. some beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some beans and cut some hot dogs up. Yep. I've got a hot dog story too. After this, once we wrap this up, yeah, that's fine. I just it's like it's 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 a bummer, <laughs> it's man. It's like it's, <laughs> it's I've fine, been, man. Here's the worst part about it: it's like I've been doing hot dog meals like by myself, whatever you just, just taking my claim, just solo, like and eating like two hot dogs for dinner alone is just mm-hmm. by what do you mean alone? Do you mean like, you're eating so, you're eating them by yourself? Yeah. So like or, a lot of times, a lot of times, like Kelly and I, like I go out at night <laughs> to do comedy. Kelly get works during the day, so I'll be eating dinner like right before I leave, so we don't eat dinner together. Mm-hmm. And I'm just I'm just mowing down two fucking hot dogs. You're eating them at the, the same time mic. too. You're eating it like a like a man would normally eat a burger. You have you have them stuck to each other and mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, just I figured now, I'd give you a little when update. Well, I, yeah, I mean, thanks for the update. Yeah, but like now, when you're eating the hot dogs, are you like, oh, nice, another hot dog, or is it at the point where you're like, fuck, oh, yes, man. dude, it's like. I, <laughs> I, I'm always intrigued by the idea because I do like hot dogs. And I'm like, oh, yes. Yeah. We all like hot dogs. Because here's the thing, crap. dude. It's like they're a treat. It's like exactly what you said. When you stumble well, upon yeah, one and you you're eat, in the you right situation. Hot, yeah, I eat six hot dogs a year and I'm excited about – or I, there's six times where I eat hot yeah. dogs dude, a intrigued, year. Maybe more. I don't know. Intrigued by the idea of a hot dog is such a funny <laughs> sentence. I'm always intrigued by the idea of a hot dog. <laughs> Well, hot dogs are special. You're yeah. like, oh, yeah, I would love a hot dog. Yeah, but then, that sounds great. Sometimes, I'll, I'll eat three of those right now. Sometimes no I'm perplexed by the but idea then, of a hot dog. Then then you you start per- I mean, I don't understand how they're made. Yeah. Then you start preparing them for yourself alone as a, as a you smell bachelor them. meal. Yeah, and you can just hear the fucking Skinner song playing in the background. <laughs> Simple yeah. type of man. You're, you take and, them out. Uh, you take them in the shower ex- with a beer. You're eating yeah, the hot yeah. dogs in the it, shower. I call it the simple man delight. And uh, I eat yeah. two hot dogs, and it gives me a stomach ache every time, dude. Mm-hmm. It's, they aren't. You good. should eat a hat. You, you should eat. Uh, you should eat a hot dog, a uh, half-eaten hot dog. Leave it in the shower, <laughs> just to see what. And then put a camera in the bathroom just to see what Kelly's fucking ass does, dude. I'll put it on like the rack by the shampoo and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, just... and she's like, Grant, you left a hot dog and then you come in the bathroom with another hot dog in your hand and you're like, oh, sorry about Grab that. Grab it, you know? eat it. Hot dog in one hand, <laughs> Facebook Live in the other and you're like, dude, she found it. She found the hot dog. She found Now, the... I got another... 
Now I got another question. Are you experimenting with your um, condiments that you're using with the hot dog? So most of the time I'll just go with like a straight uh, yellow mustard because I think that's like, I think that's just kind of the best, like, you know, simple man's delight. If if I'm gonna stick with sure, the brand, sure, yeah. But I mean, like, you don't have any mm. Dijon in the fridge. I'll do that. Spicy no, I'll do mustard. that. I'll do that, and I'll do like a, I'll do ketchup, mustard, and relish sometimes. You know, but like, gotta have that's, some ketchup. That's what's nice about having two is that you can go just straight yellow mustard on one, kind of freestyle on the other a little bit. Yeah, I'll do relish, brown mustard, little mayonnaise. Oh, all right. Ketchup, mayonnaise. ketchup is the working man's caviar. And I eat it the same way rich people eat caviar. <laughs> Out of a spoon. Yeah. A, tiny I, yeah. spoon. Yep. a tiny spoon. A tiny spoon. I sit there with on, my on oysters. With my jar of Heinz. Um, yeah. Okay. Well that's yeah, that's that's my I'm 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 intrigued to hear your hot dog story, of course. So I don't I'm, think I've told this on the podcast. My mom's gonna be excited when she hears this. When I was a kid, I'll demand an apology from my mom for this. Great. When I was a kid, my mom lied to me and told me that the president made it illegal to eat cold hot dogs <laughs> because I, I ate so many cold hot dogs. Um, <laughs> and I'm, when I when no, I say I th- cold I hot think- dogs, I'm not talking like <laughs> they were cooked and then they were in the fridge. Like straight from the package. Yeah. Straight from the fridge. Oscar Mayer. Into baby's belly. <laughs> uh, and she, she thought it was disgusting, which it was. It was disgusting. I'll concede that. But yeah. the frustration I have is that she couldn't level with six-year-old me and just say, dude, this is so fucking gross. Um, mm-hmm. But she, you're not going to be receptive. With a six-year-old. Yeah, you're not going to be receptive to that message as a six-year-old. Yeah, that's true. Think. But you no, will, you you will go, be you receptive got, to the idea that the president that your, has made what nephew? you're doing illegal. Grant, don't you do that to your nephew? Don't you get down on one knee and go, the fuck is the matter with you, piece of mm-hmm. shit? <clears throat> yeah. You fucking... You want to give him a lot of... That's how you level with them. You want to give him a lot of judgment at that age. Listen, Obama's going to order a drone strike on you if you don't get your shoes on. You and your parents. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- you know I think you have told that on the podcast. Damn, <laughs> or maybe or maybe just me personally. I I've told I think I've told both of you guys for sure not on the podcast. Also, dude, I used to uh, lick off like we would have like a bag of chips, mm-hmm. and I would mm-hmm. suck off all the spice and then put the chips back in the bag, <laughs> dude. And then one time, my mom, <laughs> my poor mom. I'm okay. So, so like, what kind a, of chips? Like a Dorito or something? Yeah, this is a double sided apology. Suck so, <laughs> so I would suck off the sauce and then put the chips back in the bag. Oh my god! And apparently, god, apparently one time, my mom was like, <laughs> she was going for a chip and she was like, "Dude, why is this soggy?" And then she looked over. And I'm sitting they're just sucking the fucking spice off. You had cheese all over your fingers. <laughs> yeah, dude, mm, why is this just soggy and I don't has know. no spice? That's weird. That's weird, Mom. So, okay, that's a double-bladed apology. Mom, you don't owe me one. Dude, I won't dude, apologize a- to you. <laughs> it's a wash. It's a wash, baby. Holy shit. No, I'm yeah, man, sorry the spice that I did was that. good. I used to, my mom, we used to have the, you know, the cheap ramen yeah. packs and the. Do you eat the, the spice? Ca- the, the little spice? Spice Bro, I would, I would open up, I would open up the packs, take out the spice, eat, su- eat the spice out, and then there would be no. Yeah. Wow. No, you no just spice have the most disgusting the ramen. noodles. Wow. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm nursing it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not just, it's like a shot. You know, you can't. Just you think know, about you, what you, that, that packet of sodium does to your stomach like when you ingest it it's that's why tommy to looks like ramen, that now. i used to eat ramen uncooked too I've, I've heard a lot of people do that yeah like break it up why why would you do that what, what 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 appealed to you was it just easier than cooking it or no it, what happened was my <laughs> friend would do it when we were like oh. in fourth grade did you even think it was good and- I thought it was all right, but it was mainly I liked the spice so much. So I was like, he's like, no, dude, it's totally okay just to do. And I was like, all right. So then I would also do it sometimes with him. Dude, that's f- but deep down, deep down, I knew it was wrong. Isn't that I funny though when you doing. have like... And I was peer pressured by my friends to do but it. But when you're a kid and someone introduces new information to you like that, where it's like, it like opens a new door in your brain where you're like, holy shit, dude, I could eat these without cooking them. Yeah, it's not even the fact that it's like good because it's yeah. better cooked. Of course, yeah. it's more just like wait, you can you can do exactly. This? Yeah, well, you're like wait, I'm, would you? Open? Is, it's just new information. Well, I'm gonna you know? do this until my mom tells me the president made it illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's still how your mom gets you to do stuff <laughs> for sure. For sure, she pay, a, she's the one who pays attention to that, the politics. That's a good life hack because uh, now I know how to get you to do things. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Also, Grant. not after of, we had this conversation. Of, shit. 
What? Also, I'm sorry, Grant. Were you tra- were you gonna say something? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, I was I was just gonna ask like when you would do that, and I don't know if you said this or not. Would you open the spice packet and dump it on the dry noodles and then eat it? Because I've heard of people doing uh, that. I I have <laughs> done that before. Okay. Would you eat them separate? Uh, no, 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 no. I've cooked the ramen and then I would like put like a little butter and then wa- and just like a little water and then dump the spice in. So it'd be like. Is that what you're no, saying? No, that's like how you cook ramen. Yeah, what? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is would you eat the dry ramen with the... the like pork? Oh, with the spice y- in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would eat the dry, okay. I would eat the dry okay, ramen okay. with the spice in. Yeah. Well, now, you know, because it's, it's not good. Listen. No. That's such yeah. an insane then thing, dude. Where, like 10 years ago, if you would have told me that, I'd be like, oh, dude, that's a great idea. And now it's just like... 10 years ago, dude. You were th- you were 27 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I I, I age slowly, okay, <laughs> mentally. <laughs> I would have been 7 years old 10 years ago, <laughs> mentally. <clears throat> yeah, Damn, dude. Um, I guess that's 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 why that's why God made me a cowboy. <laughs> it's it's cuz I have why. I have the intellect of a 7 year old. That's why he did that. Mm-hmm. I also remember <laughs> after school, so uh, in Minneapolis, our school was right across the street from a Starbucks, and um, my mom would give me, like, you know, five or six bucks to go to Starbucks and, like, do homework after school, and in, like, sixth grade, I would go there with, like, you know, five other kids, and we would go there, and we would each, like, dome, like, a whole chocolate Frappuccino, which is, like, <sighs> so much caffeine, and I remember like feeling absolutely insane in the Starbucks <laughs> and we would ruin the Starbucks. It got to the point. I mean, really we would fuck up cause we would be at the table. We would be holding court at the table for like three, How old four were you? hours, you know, like 11 or 12. Oh, dude, wow. I, you know? I gotta be honest when I was, a- and like you're with girls too. And like, you know, you're just, you're really trying, you know, every, like people are getting pants, you know what Tommy's I mean? Like two foot like, four like, at this time. You know, I, I'm, t- I'm two foot four. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, my friend's like whipping his dick out and it's like, it's funny, you know, it, cause it's like, a, he's got a little penis and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You guys are just and so high we, on caffeine. Got, oh my God. It's like, it, it felt like the memory of it felt like what, like I haven't, like if i do a lot of cocaine which i haven't in a while that's the only comparison of like that euphoria and that uh hyper Dude. sensation but it got to the point where the starbucks people they were like they called the school and they were like no one from the school is allowed yeah i don't blame <laughs> no them one. dude they should have done that earlier like, yeah also, dude, yeah, they, I got to be honest. This is this is one of the it things It was bad. We we didn't know what we were doing though. This is one of the things that started my neuroses. Neuroses <laughs> I can think of two things as a kid that I fucking hated. Um, one would be when other kids drank coffee. I don't know why it was just like, it made me really fucking mad. Cause I, I in my brain, I was like, dude, we're like eight, nine years old right now. 10 years old, 13. This, Ryan, but this isn't like, I'm not drinking. I wouldn't ever drink like a black coffee. Any kind I'm of, talking but like I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking any kind of coffee product. I would get in like if a yeah. kid in class had like, or a girl or whoever brought like a, you know, Starbucks in, I'd be like, go fuck yourself, dude. Like it genuinely. Cla- wait, who's bringing in Starbucks in middle school? Like, sorry, I'm late. I don't know. Or like- high school, even early high school. Like, you know, oh, freshman school, year. Yeah. Even yeah. then it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? That. And then uh, when kids would call their parents their names instead of mom or dad, I remember like. That, bu- that bugged me a lot I remember too. Encountering that and just being like, dude, who the fuck do you think you are? Just call them mom and dad. What's wrong with you? Did, would you call your friends' parents by their names though? Would you do that? Not, no, no. I was, I was so intimidated by my uh, friends' parents. I, 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 I don't think I ever parents. referred to them other than just like, oh, okay, you know, like never, never a title or anything. Yeah. Oh, really? In third, like, mm-hmm. if I was talking to my friend about somebody's mom, you know, I'd be like, oh, Tommy's mom or something. I, but never, never would use their Tommy's first name. Tommy's mommy. First name or last name? Never, never. Tommy, mommy. I, my uh, the band teacher at my elementary school. He lived down the street from my family, and he had a, a daughter who was my brother's age. So sometimes we would w- go there before school or ride with them or something. There was just some sort of connection between our families. We lived on the same street, so I would call him Larry. And then one time at school, I called him Larry, and he stopped me. He's like Grant. You 
you have to call me Mr. Newman at school. <laughs> that <rule. laughs> dude, but see, that, I, did, I had no idea what was going on though. I was like, why? Uh, see, well, dude, if uh-huh. I didn't, if I didn't know you were, you were like his neighbor, mm-hmm. and I was like a kid at that school, and I saw you do that, I'd be like, fuck, Grant, <laughs> dude. So funny. But yeah, I, I, I but didn't knowing that, it. that's acceptable. Not with that other sense. kids' parents. Honestly, even today, I'm like, you ever see that? Like a kid call, like you know, their parent. No, I feel like that's name. pretty rare. It made me really uncomfortable seeing uh, friends of mine yell or be mean to their parents in a way that oh, was yeah. completely foreign to me. I couldn't. I was so terrified of my parents that the thought yeah. of it was like, dude, I think we're talking bo- back, dude. I think your dad's gonna spank you and me <laughs> based on the way <laughs> you're talking to him right now. My, yeah, my mom would have fucking killed me or my brother if we chose to to speak back in a way. Were so. you guys allowed to cuss at home as kids, Tommy? I'm guessing no. No, no. no. I think once in in high yeah. in high school we were we were just like I remember being like in high, in high school we were just like we got treated as like adults. Yeah. Like we all had jobs. Yeah, and stuff like that, and and like. It was very much like everyone was kind of like hang, doing their own thing. What do you think about you know? this as a pickup line? You know, uh, I didn't have sex until I was 18, but I was started cussing in second grade. So <laughs> I'm actually pretty mature. So. You were allowed to cuss, weren't you? Yes. Um, I, yeah. I remember that, my that mom. That makes so much sense. Be, I think I discovered wait, cussing I just, in second grade, and I remember my mom like sitting me down and being like, listen, you can say all this stuff here, but you can't in school, which was like fair. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I remember one time, one of my friends, I forget, Derek, maybe? Anyways, it doesn't matter. He's dead now. Uh, died in a plane crash. But All right, <clears> Derek. He was flying the plane, and he All meant right, to be. do it. Uh, I remember his parents overheard me swearing we were outside, and they were, like, by the window, I think. The window was open, and I was like, fucking, you know, like, second grade. He was like, <laughs> fucking like, cock, fucking motherfucking piss, shit. Man. You know, just, like, saying every swear word you know, and... Yeah, uh, your friend is sitting there just in awe. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think he was older oh than me too. God, <laughs> I, I think he was like a year or two older than me too. So it was like that shit would have like that was scared like, me as a kid. <laughs> I was like to see you doing that, I would have been terrified. <laughs> Motherfucking shit! And I just remember his mom like I don't know if she came out or if he told me, but yeah, we weren't like allowed to hang out after that. <laughs> Imagine going on a first date now and just being like, "So, uh, are you cool with cuss words?" <laughs> You cool if I do some cuss words on this date? And she's like, what? And you're like, fucking shit. All, all right, man. That shit's cool as hell. <laughs> fucking hell yeah, bitch. Oh, hell fucking yeah. You, you want to fucking, yeah, fucking eat this goddamn shit right now? <laughs> hey, girl, you trying to motherfucking get some fu- yeah. shit? Let's yeah. order some motherfucking mm-hmm. pizza. <laughs> you're like, uh, I'll have the... Oh, here, you guys want to hear? I got I'll a get the character. cock-sucking root beer, please. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little character to run by you yeah. guys. Uh, Grant said pizza and triggered this. Um, this thought I had the other day. So uh, you're like texting your friend. And you're like, yeah, dude, come over. I got some beer. Just pick up some pizza. And he's like, all right, man. And he comes over uh, with a box of Chuck E. Cheese pizza. And you're like, what the fuck, man? You're like, what, man? I got some pizza. And he's like, you went to Chuck E. Cheese? He's like, yeah, I go there all the time for the pizza. Like, like. Yeah, but just guy who just goes to Chuck E. Cheese for pizza. That's yeah. funny. That's a he the vibe. So, so, <clears throat> does does he thing. like the pizza or the atmosphere? Um, both. He loves the pizza, loves the atmosphere, and he gets pizza to go. He calls in and he goes, <laughs> "Yeah, I'll take a large pepperoni yeah. pie to go, please." Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, goes there and gets his pizza and leaves. What about guy? It's way out of the way because there's like really like only seven Chuck E. Cheese franchises left in America. <laughs> what about you know? So so he really drives hours out of the way. Guy who's in his like late sixties, dresses entirely like a cowboy, wears the aviator sunglasses, and he mm-hmm. goes to Chuck E. Cheese's, but he gets his pizza for there, and then he just sits and watches. <laughs> He's smoking a cigarette. They're like, dude, stop. <laughs> He's smoking like, a cigarette. Dude, you're gonna have to go to the pizza. Sm- make me. Go ahead. Make he's me. he's smoking a cigarette, and they're like, "Sir, you're gonna have to go to the smoking section." This reminds me of when I yes, was. Yes, there is still a smoking section in Chuck E. Cheese. This is Chuck E. Cheese. This reminds me of when I was okay. in Iwo Jima, uh, shooting shooting subhumans. <laughs> um. Yeah. He's watching. He's watching a kid play Big Buck Hunter. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> they're just like that in Iwo Jima. Getting flashbacks. Just like that. Iwo Jima when yeah. I went on vacation 10 years ago. 
played big bug. Have you guys, have you guys ever been to like Outback Steakhouse? They were gonna ask if I've ever been to Iwo Jima. I have. Yeah, I, a really long time ago. Yeah. Or wait, no, I get you've I get that. You've been to the Outback House mixed up. They're they're similar. Wait, wait, sorry, what you is say? There like an, is there like a lot of Australian themed stuff there? Yeah. Well, I think I've heard that they basically just. M- made up all the shit about Australia there. Like, none of it is Australian, but they just branded well, they, it. It is, you know, like that is Australian. funny. It is funny thinking about that the concept of Outback State, Steakhouse is, like, racist towards Australian yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's Dude, like, also, it's like, all right, we got a hamburger-a-da-da-doodle-zombo <laughs> that you can order, you know? There's so many demeaning like, waiter jobs. Um, <laughs> Dude, w- What's crazy with Outback Steakhouse, you know how Texas Roadhouse has the like the animatronic bowl that you can ride? Uh, yeah. Sometimes they do. I've only been there like once or twice as well. Outback Steakhouse has an animatronic Steve Irwin that'll wrestle you to the ground. <laughs> 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 and if you can scroll out of it, you get a free blooming yeah. onion, mate. Blooming onion. Yeah. I'll show you my blooming onion. <laughs> yeah, can I have one blooming onion? All right. Yep, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, okay. All right. Uh, hey, Outback no Steakhouse, here's uh, yes, an idea. Here's an idea. Suck yeah. my fucking <laughs> dick and go back to your own country, <laughs> fucking immigrants. Yeah. This is me at, as the waiter. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. I'll put that okay, in. Okay, I'll now. do that then. Uh. Okay, so I think I got to go talk to my manager about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so and we can see if I have any suck your dick and uh, go back to my country in the back. Okay, but, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna just have my manager come over and he'll talk to you. Um, seems like yeah. seems like something happened here. We're 86. Hey, how, in about the you, suck how about you dick. suck my? Yeah, how about you suck my dick? Go back to your own. Co- Gary, get over here. I'm I'm just gonna get Gary real quick. Gary, get over here. Guy needs something. You know, he's got a question. Every every manager is Australian. The waiter they have to be yeah. Australian. The waiter goes back to the kitchen. He's like, "Hey, uh, they they wanted me to. Do we have any <laughs> suck my dick?" And the cooks are just like, "What? Okay, <laughs> 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 nah, we not had that. <laughs> we not we not had that right now." <laughs> All right, eighty six <laughs> to suck my dick. <laughs> Dude, did I ever tell you um, that when I worked at the original Pancake House and there was this dude from Ecuador and uh, his name was Angel and like we would kind of fuck with each other and one day he was uh, he was back there, he was cutting red. Chris Angel. Yeah, it was Chris Angel. The mind freak. Yeah, <laughs> he freaked my mind, I'll tell you that. Um, He's a bit of a mind freak, this guy. <laughs> he was uh, he was cutting red peppers and I was like doing side work or whatever. So I'm like back there. Rolling silverware. Yeah, or, like just getting shit, you know, like getting the dishes where they need to be. And yeah. I walk past him, he's cutting these red on or red peppers, and I go, dude, those green peppers look fucked up. <laughs> and he looks at me and then he looks at the peppers. And then he looks at me again and he goes, These are green peppers. <laughs> <laughs> or these are red peppers. Dude. That <laughs> that reminds me of uh <laughs> Just didn't get it. I thought at all. <laughs> just the joke just fucking bombed with him. I was I was at a oh, I was working in a kitchen and um I had visited San Francisco and I was buddies with one of the dishwashers. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, we're not gonna do the accent. <laughs> but he was like, How's your how's your weekend? Grant, you have to do the I accent. It's like I went to San Francisco and he's like, Oh no, no, no. Too many gay people in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm dude. like, what, dude? Come on, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like yeah. 2018, bro. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, let's let that yeah, one go, awesome. man. <laughs> well, what's crazy is like, I feel like a lot of those guys that are like, <laughs> no. a lot of them, a lot of them are like, no, they are no. countries' versions of Hicks. You know, that are just like, yeah, I lived like on a ranch or something, and wherever I'm from, you know. Um, I, yeah, I so mean, they're, they're not going to have just, like they're they're incredibly uh, Christian and Catholic hardcore, yeah, so true. it's not not very accepting. It's crazy how vulgar <laughs> some of those guys oh, are. Yeah, yeah, for how religious they are. You guys been watching the Bear? No, Did you watch that? You like that? Tommy? Watched it first week. Yeah, watched the whole thing. I, I thought really it was pretty good. It. Yeah, it was really good. If you watch the Bear, episode seven is one of the best episodes of television I've ever seen. It, I think it's one shot, which is always very hard to do. So it's this crazy kitchen scene, and obviously, like, like there's like funny jokes being made about it on Twitter. Like, like being in a restaurant is not like being in the mil- military. Like, there's a certain like, um, <clears throat> like gravity that like. Yeah. 
uh, people watch that show with. You know, they're just like, this is fucking ha-. And it's like, look, working in a restaurant sucks, but, like, also take it easy. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, it, oh, episode seven's all one shot. Is that, it is is that when the kitchen goes down? Kitchen goes down. If you watch it again, it's one it's incredible I, like unless they use some camera tricks to make it look like one take but i think it's all one take because it's also like the shortest episode mm-hmm. it's like 15 minutes long and uh just it's incredible how everyone hits their cues just on a just on a basis of acting and yeah it's incredible mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah it's good check it out also um I've been in the. I've been cooking in back of house. I saw you scrubbing some dishes the other day. I'm scrubbing dishes. I think I might. I'm really at my wits end. I was, dude. I was um serving a group of influencers came. So a group of influencers <laughs> came into the restaurant. The restaurant was closed for thirty influencers so they could post on their Instagram stories about bathhouse. Wow. Everything's comped. Everything's paid for and comped. They don't have to pay for anything. No that's tipping, fine right? Because there's. No, there's an automatic gratuity included with everything that's comp. So I'm getting paid. That's good. Pretty well. I got to leave early at work today, which was really nice because just our rush was so crazy. But these people aren't like they're not paying at all. They're just being told like, no, no, no. It's because you guys are doing like free advertise, uh, free advertising. Like you don't have to pay. If I didn't have to pay and I got four cocktails and a bunch of plates and like the guy giving them to me was like clear like i was like in the shits for like two hours like really really in the shits like to the point where someone's like hey can i get some like salt and pepper and i'm like yeah 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 and i would like hear them and i would like for 20 minutes i'd be like doing things like get the salt and pepper get the salt but i just could not get around to it for like even something as like simple as that none of them only one person tipped cash (laughs) out of all of them you think Wait, you would so there slide? Was, they, it was just no, like they didn't tip at all. You just got the they gratuity. They didn't tip. So 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 I got my automatic gratuity, which so I got some money, yeah. you know. But like, come on, oh, you're yeah. not gonna. You're you're not. You got a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. You know, you don't work at all. You just do like lotion ads and whatever other like pyramid schemes. They sell those. To, like, um, t- those like yeah, nighttime just like, galaxy lights on, under their. Chair. I have yeah, one of those. And then some, <laughs> it's and then nice. some weird drink that you're like tricking like fourteen year old girls to get who have like borderline eating disorder. Yeah, okay. like, that's Colin what you do. Broom. Hold on, I drink <laughs> <Yeah>. those too. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what these people do for a living. And so, like, anyways, you have some money. But, like I would, I would throw in an extra twenty. I would, I'm de- here if we're demanding apologies. I would like an apology from the group of influencers. Who did not uh, tip at all? The reason is they probably have never worked a job like that. So they don't know that what you actually do is whenever you get comp something in the restaurant industry, you you basically just give however much it was as a tip to the person who got it for you, right? You know, you get, oh, yeah, you totally. get a free beer, you give them four or five bucks for that beer and it just goes into their pocket instead of, because then yeah, it, would be, it, it would still be half price if you're doing that. Yeah, exactly. No, I know exactly. That's the rule, and also just like, oh, I can't believe we got all this free stuff. Let's uh, g- let's give this uh, uh, sweaty, the sweaty nineteen-year-old boy like twenty dollars or something, you know? Yeah. Um, the problem is they're yeah, all from so, upper cl- upper class yeah. or or really high upper middle class backgrounds. Where yeah, it's like, like it's, it's yeah, probably that, but also like they have like hot privilege. So it's like even if they like didn't grow up rich, they've just like been hot, which is like a currency. Which in is itself, almost worse than know? being rich. Yeah, it's worse than uh um you know being part of like part of like if you like it's worse than like being a part of like epstein's island any any of these like disgusting one percenters Mm -hmm. if you're just a little smoke show Mm -hmm. if you're too hot that's that's yeah yeah. getting free uh mini souffles does that ever happen to you guys where you see someone that's so attractive and it can be of either gender where you're just like uh it's like intimidates me how attractive you are like i don't feel comfortable around you because you're too attractive yeah, also they insisted on calling themselves creatives. So I would be like, are you part of the influencers, uh, whatever, uh, influencers party? And they'd be like, yeah, we're part of the creative, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be mm. like, don't. You know what it is, no. too, with those attractive and, people? And, oh, no, and then I did a joke. And then, I, and then someone was like, and then someone was like, 
I, I'm not I'm not a part of them. I'm just a, a plus one. You know, it was like a <laughs> friend of someone's. And then I go, oh, wow, how does it feel being a, a friends with a creative, you know? <laughs> And like like the people like like the bar people laughed and stuff like that and they did not it just they're like what what are you talking yeah. about you know <laughs> interesting uh, that you guys are just, creatives but you didn't get my very yeah. creative joke that I just did you know what yeah, it is it's kind of a <clears throat> with kind of a dickish thing for me to say but who cares? Yeah. whatever fuck them you know what it is with really attractive people too you know that saying where it's like when the natives first saw like Spanish ships they were so big that they didn't understand what they even were really that's like what Mm -hmm. happens to me when i see a really attractive person where i'm just like i don't even know what you are and that's also what happens to me when i jack off with my penis because it's so big i'm like wait is this my fucking penis dude yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) my brain can't even figure out what trips me out is like do what trips you do they know how hot they are. I mean, they have to know. Yes. But do they been know told their yeah, entire yeah. life? I know, but you're told, but do you, still, do you, do you understand? Like, I get you understand what the experience is like to live as you and have get they like internalized that or, or like do, can they objectively look at a photo of themselves and be like, I am a fucking 10. I mean, I'm sure I gotta be honest. I don't, they're, they're very like this. I'm not just saying this. It's very like, they're not really attractive to be around. Like they yeah. kind of suck. They yeah. like they're really like they're kind of exactly who you think they are, mm-hmm. and like that's like a really big like turn off. Like if someone's like not a little bit funny, I'm like, what is even going on? Mm-hmm. You know. So they just kind of suck so bad. But come on, tip. Yeah. Tw- I thought I was gonna like make tons if of money. If each one of them like, would have oh just given you twenty dollars. Which is still Dude, like each one of them, paltry for for getting oh all my that God. free shit. So what, five hundred bucks? I would have retired. I would have retired if each <laughs> one of them gave me ten dollars. Yeah. Six hundred. I would have been 600. able to retire for a couple weeks. Yeah, man, and you've earned it, dude. I would have bought a house. You're on, one one day Manhattan. from retirement. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Before, all right, um, dude. We we should have done this listener apology. Yeah, let's do yeah. It. Let's sorry, do it. okay. I went a little too long. No, we all did. A lot of it was okay. me, Tommy. It's okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll take credit. Um, all right. This is, um, this is a, a reference to a couple episodes ago. Um, so if you want to write in your own, <laughs> I'm, anonymous I'm always, apology. every time someone <laughs> reminds us of another episode we've done, I'm like, ah, fuck, every, shit. every, every, like every, uh, listener, every like listener apology, every like write in, it's just like, yeah, so this is about something you talked about, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Why would you do dude, this? Every Why listener, would you bring this up? <laughs> every listener has more dirt on us than any Ooh. other person I've I've talked to probably in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Um, any one listener could be like, oh, yeah. You. Okay. So if you want to submit or demand your own anonymous apology for us to read, go to We're Grant eventually Le- going to need to kill every listener. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or at least just just to just to cover our dirty laundry, we're yep. just gonna have to hire a hit on on Henry Ryan's mom, yep. <laughs> and that's basically yeah, that's it. it. And I'll Zach tell you, and Kagan, I'll tell you and this. Zach Kagan. We'll, we'll we gotta, we gotta, Kagan. Th- I'll tell you this. We'll kidnap him. We could use him. We'll for keep stuff him alive later. in the basement. You know, we'll do the black phone <laughs> on Kagan. Not a bad we'll, movie. We'll have him. We'll have him perform his little skits for us every <laughs> night. I'll tell you this. I don't jack off. I John off. Um, <laughs> Thank also, you for saying that. Didn't like what? Nope. Didn't like Nope that much. Oh, what? I liked it a lot. What about? Nah, okay, what I didn't about, like the way they went about, with it. <laughs> Do you see uh, Logan Paul's thread about why I didn't like Nope? No, no, nope. It was so funny. The whole thing is just like, yeah, I didn't get it, so I'm angry. <laughs> okay, this is all. This is all good. Because which is which is valid. I just this wanted is, their. I'm not. I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, don't spoil it. I didn't like the way it they just went came with out. It. Um, but this kind of th- thematically wraps in, um, good movie. Though. Also real quick. I've been listening to Logan Paul's <laughs> podcast. It was a good movie. <laughs> Why? It's so fucking bad, dude. No, but it's good. Dude, that's so funny. Dude, and Is I've been fu- listening to Bill Maher's podcast and they're full of just, so, oh dude, my I God, dude, I would just love opposite spectrums. I love listening to these things as dude, like a social I, experiment. It's it. They're, I would, I would, uh, Grant has yeah. Logan Paul in this year and Bill Maher in this year. It's, <laughs> dude, it's yes. like binaural beats where he's like, he's just like transcending reality. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I I would um Grant I would do a podcast where we do, where we do a podcast on Bill Maher's podcast. Let's do it, man. It's called like Club I Random. Would... No, is that his <laughs> it's podcast? Called, called Club Random. Yeah. No. Dude, his new stand-up special. He's like, it's called Hashtag Adulting. I saw, 
<laughs> I know what he's trying to do is he's one of those old guys who's like talking about millennials uh-huh. in like the in like a way like he thinks millennials are like twenty six. Dude, years I know old. it's like millennials are four and, and six. Dude, his, his yeah, age and he's group like, loves millen- that shit though. Yeah, like you know, like all those like adult teen memes in like twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. that like like his his he like thinks that is what millennials are still are. Yeah, you know he's like. It's it's his his uh concept of of just time Dude, and like how people progresses. It got locked so funny. in at that point. In time. It got it got exactly got locked in. He goes, they, they're like, the, oh millennials and their Katy Perry and, and Obama skinny and jeans Obama. and Obama and they love it's fucking. <laughs> they're gonna be awesome. like this forever now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's dude. Listen to the Quentin Tarantino episode. It's it's wild. Does he have he Tarantino just, on, or does he just talk about Tarantino? No, he he has him on. He gets <laughs> insane guests, but he just interrupts him constantly, and that like rules. it's it's so bad. It's so fucking. Was Tarantino bad, doing? So awesome. Was Tarantino doing the black voice thing that he does? No. Have you ever seen that video? He only of him? does that when he's talking with black. It's people. Fucking weird. <laughs> we uh, we no know way. someone who does that. By the way, I'll tell you guys after the podcast. He, okay. Uh, he comic. Yeah. <laughs> I think Dude, you might have heard about Tarant- it. Tarantino. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know big you're ups to the dead homie. Is that... Big ups? <laughs> no, no, not that one. Not that oh. one. Oh, that's who I Different thought you were Different person. Okay, Different person. Nice, nice. Successful person. Uh, ah, okay. Oh. I'm interested. Ooh, got stinky oh, cheese gossip. Also, I got, I, got some, I got some major dirt. Okay, okay. all right. All like, right, let's wrap up this fucking <laughs> bullshit. No, I like some... I got some dirt that's going to like... Fuck you guys up. What? Okay, okay you got to tell us though. No, but let's hold hurry on. the fuck I, I, I would not even tell you pause it to because like we wouldn't even be able to finish the episode. Oh my I got God. some like, right. dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this. But aren't you excited now? <laughs> yes. Are ex- you ex- ex- excited for this episode to be over? Dude, if I was listening to this fucking episode, I'd be so mad right now. <laughs> Just because I'm it's never going to ce- know. No. Here's the thing. It's about a big celebrity comedian and the, some shit's going to come out. Hell yes. Damn. Well, it and sounds like bad. a bad situation, so maybe not hell it's yes. It's bad. But it's bad. It's bad. Is it someone we like? I'm not saying anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you want to, let's get through this. But I will say that. No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I just keep going. I just, L- just Listen to you. Club Random, <laughs> Bill Maher. <laughs> and if you want to submit or demand your own anonymous apology, go to grandwinklescomedy.com slash podcast. <laughs> Write in, write in your corrections. We'll get in the correction corner. You're bringing us there right now. But don't, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm not necessarily demanding an apology, but MK Ultra was done to weaken individuals who admit secrets, not create super soldiers. So Grant, you were wrong. Look it up. Love the pod. Peace and love. All right. You read that? I feel like that if, okay, now read that again in a more like gentle tone. Here, I'll read it. You know? I can't, I, I because like, cause very very hostile and combative. Yeah, Grant. I feel like you're internalizing way, your, Yeah, uh, do you, you cannot like, give me shit for that, dude. You've threatened. Love to- the pod. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not necessarily demanding an apology, but MK Ultra was done to weaken individuals to admit secrets, not create super soldiers. So, Grant, you were wrong. Look it up. Love the pod. Wow, that was Peace really- and love. You fucking wow. retard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, now let me read it. Let me read it. Okay. Well, how- I'm put it put it up to the screen. Okay, hold on. Um, submit or demand your anonymous support. <laughs> um, I'm not necessarily demanding an apology, but MK Ultra was done to weaken individuals to admit secrets, not create, not create super soldiers. So. Grant, you're wrong. <laughs> Look it up. Love the pod. Peace and love. Tommy, it's just, you're sexy. You're a sexy guy. Mm-hmm. I think you guys were too generous uh, with your... Um, I think mine was kind of spot on, I'm be honest. <laughs> I All think, right. I okay. think mine but was good. At first, no, no, no. At first, I was going to do an Ecuadorian accent, but then I <laughs> <Can> decided... <laughs> It, it was it was not only it wasn't to get them to admit secrets it was to get them also to hold secrets until they were triggered do you guys know MK yeah. Ultra? yeah well uh, they also they, because they thought the break, soviets why were why you break it down they thought the soviets were able to they thought the soviets had created like a truth telling serum and then were also able to uh 
uh, like have someone assassinate someone and then not know about it. Mm-hmm. And so they're trying to accomplish both of those. Basically, it was just like, how can we get people to do things without them knowing that they did it? It, it was like hypnosis. They were dabbling with hypnosis. They used, they, they basically invented LSD. The CIA invented LSD to, to do this. Damn. <clears throat> and Hey, hey, hey. I don't think they invented LSD. Well I think they, they, they were, they, they were early in on it. They though. were the ones who uh, were, they popularized. It. They popularized it, and they also uh, dude the CIA rules. There's a really good um, dude. They know how oh, to make drugs. Oh, you man. hate the CIA so much? Then how come you did acid once when you were 22? <laughs> huh? Yeah. How come? And you had a bad my... time. Oh yeah. Oh, do you guys want me to pick up? Yeah. Let me just call up my drug dealer, the CIA. Yeah. <laughs> His name's John Kerry. Sorry. And he works for the CIA. Sorry for going there. Okay. The, Sorry for going there. I think there, the point guys. is. Uh, yeah. His name's Jared Fogle, and he works for the CIA. I. I think, uh, yeah, it was. I was wrong to say they were super soldiers, but we also spent that entire episode saying Havana Syndrome is the communist trying to make you gay. So, mm. well, we did retcon that though. Yeah. Well, so we'll retcon this now too. I guess. Thank you for the correction. Thanks for writing in. But there wasn't a. It was. You're kind of wrong too. It wasn't to admit secrets. It was to keep secrets. That was part of it keep, though. It but was, it was to keep them from. That was part of it. Mm-hmm. But I would say creating some sort of super soldier was also a part of it in the same way. Yeah. You know, it's not the whole thing. It's not the whole thing. Wait, enchilada. so they gave them, they gave them the ass. Wait. So what they so were trying they ga- to do is like, basically they were trying. They didn't to, want them to talk. No, they were using it to try and implant, like do inception, like implant ideas into people and then have them not know. You know, the Manchurian candidate, the guy. Oh, who was yeah. Sent- to, to, so they can like trigger them and then they can do something. They were, they were doing just, what. But that's a super. So, it was but just about breaking down thing. people's they, people's sense of self, basically, and molding it into something new. Do you know what it, exactly it was? It was what Mugatu does to Zoolander. Yeah, it actually. Zoolander. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, that's. That was like one the, aspect yes. of it. But so there, there were many aspects. And it, also, it was unsuccessful. Yeah. They were not able to do any of this, so uh, yeah. I don't know. I think they were. What about what, what about the uh, what about the Rancherian candidate? And he's like, I just love ranch, man. I just oh, I'm dude, I think he's the only one who knows where the Hidden Valley is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I thought I thought you were gonna say. Either. I just love the stuff, dude. I... What about like the Rancherian candidate? But it's like they take a Jewish man from New York, and then like he pops back up, and he's like, Yeah, I've been living in Montana for. Ten years now, just just with the horses and the steers, and uh, <laughs> this is this is yeah. the what was the name of the guy? No the Harry Potter, Gary Potter, <laughs> Gary Potter. <laughs> yeah, Howdy, I'm I'm a Rancherian candidate. I've Gary it has Potter. recently come to my attention that the CIA uh, hacked into my brain <laughs> and turned me into a rancher. Who lives in Montana? Before that, I was a Hasidic Jewish man. It's Zach. <laughs> Before that, I was a Hasidic Jewish man named Zach Kagan. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hate it when he hears this. My Hasids shouts out. Me and Zach. Hey, have, my, if you're a, if you're a Hasidic and you listen to this podcast, let us know. Dude, me and Zach mm-hmm. had a funny experience the other night. Um, so I, uh, we, me and him went to a party after uh, Corner Bar, and Zach at a party is funny enough. It too. was he he busted out the leather jacket and the sunglasses, and he was strutting around the party yeah. and dabbing God and stuff. It. it was yeah. so funny. Uh, and he's like, I've cre- "Yeah, I'll have another IPA." <laughs> do you think I've created a monster? Yes, yes. I, I, he's not supposed to do this stuff off stage. I know, man, but you get that <laughs> Dude, taste. You know, it's a uh, it's fucking um, uh, Hickory Dickory Dock. That, who's oh that yeah, comedian? yes. Um, Dice Clay. Uh, Dice Clay. He, that was a character. Yeah. Yep. Dude, we're like, gonna have to do. Yeah, like, I, I, apparently, he's like not. Or, or, I think he's Jewish. Actually, he is. Actually, dude, yeah. we're gonna have to do. So you, you're making Dice. His name is Andrew Silverstein. <laughs> we're gonna have to do like yeah. uh, reverse flowers for Aldernon, <laughs> but with being cool. <laughs> it's like Zach. You can't do it anymore. We just got to take it away now. Um. But so we were leaving this party, and there was a clearly very drunk, uh, woman. We were grabbing our bikes, and she was sitting on the street corner right by the the party, very drunk, on the phone, clearly in distress, like crying. And Zach's like, no, no, we go to her. No, no. We go to her. We're like, do you need any help? What's wrong? Yeah. Zach was standing there being like, and I'm just kind of watching, and and she's ignoring, just ignoring me and him standing right next to her. 
just crying and stuff. And we hear it on the she's phone. on the phone. She's like, "There's a troll." No, she she basically was. She keeps there's a troll talking. Me and, to me me and Zach were calmly offering her help. And she goes, there's so many people talking to me right now. I have no, like, no idea what's going on. Just, just nice. panicking. Not, a, not. To be fair, lone woman, two sh- strange men coming up to her. I, I do we understand. Were online, like, we were, we were barely. She, she was like not even clocking. But these us. two, these two strange men are Grant Winkles, who's standing at a whopping five four. Zach Kagan, <laughs> and who's I'm at five a, seven. Who's at a whopping five one with no hands. I mean, like, dude. I mean, I mean, if anything, she was like, "Do you guys need help?" Hold, I feel like this is this is. Um, I think I'm supposed to feet. assault you guys. Hold on, this is the, this is. Yeah, 10 I feet. think I think I'm supposed to get you guys home. You guys are just a a wrangly group of fellas, like. This is uh, 10 feet from the front door of this party. And, and she's just panicking. And and she goes, May, I go, here, let me have the phone. Like, she finally clocks us. And she's like, maybe you should talk to them. And I'm like, yeah, just give me the phone. I go, hey, are you at this party? And the, the girl on the other end of the line is like, yeah. And I'm like, just come out the front door. <laughs> and she walks out the front door. And I'm just like, hey, what's up? And... Uh, <laughs> And, and she's like, are you okay? Oh, you better be okay. And she starts coming out with this attitude. Like me, like now the girl in the party is like treating me and Zach like a threat as well. And I'm just like, what the, and then, oh my, so you guys, we, we got, we took care of the situation, but we're framed as the villain for the entire time <laughs> and then just left into so the night. Like you we, do look like a couple villains <laughs> though. Like a couple henchmen, no, <laughs> like a couple guys that would work for, for a taller man. Yeah. The, the Riddler for yeah, the yeah, yeah. 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 You do have henchman vibes, yeah, Grant. Yeah, it's all right. You can't help it. No. And Zach's in a leather jacket, you know, yeah, yeah, dude, it's, it's not a good look. If Zach, if Zach was in his like normal, like, Colombian, like blue and 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 green or whatever, like winter coat. That like they'd be like, who's this middle schooler? <laughs> and who's this middle schooler and his older brother <laughs> Grant's, like, approaching me right now? Grant's dressed like Feo from the Matrix, <laughs> like <laughs> Neo, Neo but Feo. <laughs> Spanish for ugly, <laughs> <laughs> and it's spelled F E O. <laughs> nice. Um, that's it. That's it. Uh, so I guess I'll apologize to that. To that, that I don't think you, I think you did the right thing, man. No, I think you did no, a really good thing. Were too threatening mm-hmm. <laughs> by helping her back into the party that she was, but, freaking but out it, about. For, at what cost yeah. and, and for what means? Yep. Um, mm-hmm. all right. That's enough, right? I think so. Yeah. I think we got it. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Guys go like my tweet. Go like his goddamn tweet. Go like his tweet that he that he might have deleted by now. We know we don't know. Um, All right. I uh Ryan and I are going to be at the Joe Bart 319 Club this Friday. If you're listening to this on Thursday, check our Instagrams, hit us up if you want to go to this house party. It's like a comedy music festival. It's my chance for redemption in front of the Zoomers. And my chance to squander it all. I do not have yeah, a mullet and, this time. Um, I, I'm starting a show with with dang old Dan Carney, man. Nice. Uh, we're starting a show in the East Village. It's gonna be it's gonna call it's gonna be called Good Karma at this place called Karma Lounge, and we're hoping to get that up and running beginning of September. That's awesome, man. Nice. But we're making it kind of like 70s late night night themed. Oh, yeah. You know, like we're going to have a desk. We're going to have like red curtain backgrounds, you know. Um, that sounds cool. We might so. wear, we're going to wear, we're going to wear suits and shit. It's going to be a good time. Sick. Um, Sick. All right. Well, thanks for listening, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. All right, Tommy, Bye-bye. hit us with this gossip, baby. All right. So 